Our next guest is Thailand's true solar pioneer and has even received the Momentum for Change Women for Results Award from the United Nations Climate Change Secretariat. Please join me in welcoming Chairwoman and CEO of SPCG, Dr. Wan Dichi Kun Chu Yang Hong, who joins me via satellite from Bangkok. Dr. Wandi, thank you so much for joining us here. You're a pioneer in your field with over 30 years of experience, but you were actually retired when you saw an opportunity in solar. What drew you to build a solar company? Uh, hello from Thailand. And uh, uh, actually, uh, when I started the business in 2010, my, my dream is uh, to bring solar energy to Thailand. That's, that's uh, how I start my, my intention from the first step. So then uh, I study a lot from uh, uh, 2009. And I actually, I stopped uh, working in 2006 when I was uh, 50, 50 years old. And I come back again to work in 2009 because of the Thai government has announced the policy to buy back solar energy from private sector and no one submit any application uh, to the government and the announcement has been placed in, in the website for a long, long time. So then uh, I just wonder and I, the more I study, the more I feel that uh, we should make it happen. And if we can bring solar energy into the country, so then uh, solar energy is not just clean, and it also can be one of the energy security for Thai people. That's how I started. That's incredibly resourceful and innovative. Uh, tell me about the process you had to undertake to help make solar such an important energy source for Thailand. Uh, so uh, many of you may not know Thailand. Uh, Thailand is uh, one of the most beautiful country in, in ASEAN and uh, with uh, 67 million people and we have uh, three seasons in this country, hot, hotter and hottest. <laughs> and we are next to Sun Belt, so you can see how Thailand uh, uh, having the sun all year round. So then uh, if if we can make the solar energy one to be one of the energy security, so then we can enjoy both uh, the sun on the beach and also the sun in our house. So this is how uh, we started. And when I uh, started business in 2010 as the pioneer, and no one understand how does it works. So then we have to go around uh, explaining all the uh, process of the uh, solar energy to the banks, to the investor. So then uh, took took me for almost a year to convince the bank, to convince the first bank. Uh, actually, I walk around ten banks. And they are denied because uh, they have no track record of a solar farm before in this country. This is the first uh, project, first commercial project in this country. So then, uh, and uh, so then, I have to uh, uh, convince them with the last bank the, in the theory of uh, uh, supporting green uh, uh, project because that color, that the bank's color is green. So I said to the <laughs> president of the bank, if you don't consider lending us money, so you have to go change the color because our project is green. So this is how I convinced the, the president of the last bank and uh, he agreed to supporting uh, project financing a uh, total of 60%. Uh, the first project was about uh, 20 million US dollar investment. Uh, so then I have to uh, uh, look for equity and I also, I also have a lot of difficulty getting equity into the projects. I end up selling my house, my land, in order to uh, put to, uh, to into the equity of the first project. And we, we, we are able to start the first project in early 2010. So that's how I, I started. We were obviously very successful in raising money, you raised $20 million. How did you then also convince the Thai government to prioritize renewable energy? Oh. Uh, well, uh, the first uh, announcement announced only 500 megawatts of uh, solar farms. So then uh, governments, they also don't quite 
understand because the solar energy is working during the day. So then at night, so then they don't, we have to work with conven other conventional energy. So we have to uh, show the number of uh, kilowatt hour, which is the energy unit that we can produce from solar during the day and uh, fit into the grid. So then supporting the people in that area. So then uh, when uh, took me also quite a long time to convince the government to to make the policy stable so we need to we need government to understand the how does it work and the concepts of the investments and actually uh, uh, from 2010 to now in 2016 so we uh, developed the models that you know we don't need subsidies anymore uh, and uh, so then we convinced the government that uh, solar energy is can be energy security for the country so we need government to to uh, issue the stable policy and make a proper good projects and then we can build up the partnerships in terms of the project developments. So from 2010, we started with zero megawatts of solar in this country. And right now in 2016, so this is this is six years, six years passed by from 2010 to 2016. Now Thai government accepting, accepting to have 6,000 megawatts in 2036. So it means that 20 years from now, we're going to have at least 6,000 megawatts of a solar farm in this country. This is how we success convincing the government. That's a phenomenally successful first project. How did it drive greater economic growth in your company, in your country rather? Oh, okay. So uh, uh, if you think, uh, if you just look at our project, we have uh, 260 megawatts together. Uh, we uh, th uh, it took us almost four years to develop the uh, projects. So is uh, we we help creating the jobs for local people at least 20,000 of uh, uh, them in the local uh, uh, area. So and we also creating permanent jobs. Uh, almost uh, 1,000 uh, jobs in the next uh, 30 years. And beside that, with our projects, we have uh, 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 World Bank, International Finance Corporation, uh, which is uh, invest in the project from the first project to the sixth project, I think. So then uh, environmental assessment is also very important. Even solar energy is clean. So we need to also uh, doing a lot of uh, environmental assessment to, to prove that uh, our solar farm produce clean energy. So that we, uh, uh, we are partner with the uh, Electricity du Flong, uh, develop uh, helping uh, uh, the world to reduce at least uh, 200 thousand ton CO2 equivalent every year from 2010 till now. So then uh, uh, this is the only portion of uh, money that uh, banks do not want to control. The rest of the banks, uh, the rest of the income that uh, uh, stream to uh, our cash flow, so bank control because we owe bank so much money as well. So then, but only the carbon credit uh, uh, sell, selling amount that bank don't want to control. Then, so SPCG uh, announced to donate all the monies to any organization supporting climate change action. Mm -hmm. So because we believe in uh, climate change is, uh, is now getting very, very, uh, I mean, uh, crisis to, to, to our world. Mm -hmm. And we need to encourage everyone to understand. So knowledge and, uh, and, and voice uh, uh, from every country, you know, need to spread out and then sharing the works, uh, helping is not, you know, one, 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 one person, one group, one company, one organization, but it's duty of, of, of everyone. Thailand now creates more solar capacity than the rest of Southeast Asia combined. Just give us an idea of how much one solar farm can power. How much energy can that create? Okay, let's let's talk about our projects. So we have uh, 260 megawatts uh, total and consists of uh, 36 farms and all of them located in the northeastern part of Thailand. Uh, so uh, 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 with uh, in a year, we can produce around 400,000, uh, 400 million, sorry, 400 million uh, units of energy, which can power to at least 600,000 households. 
Thank you. You're also so uh, Thailand. We have uh, around 15 million household. Understood. Thank you for that uh, visualization. Talk a little bit about your work in solar roofing because you've gone from kind of concentrated solar to to distributed in the form of uh, individual solar energy. What's your mission there? Yes. Well, uh, my m most difficult in uh, 2010 uh, to be a leader is to foresee the unseen opportunities. Uh, I can see the the the, the uh, ability of uh, Thailand. Uh, we can do a lot of uh, solar energy since we have the sun. Uh, please us more than other country, you know, in 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 the world. Uh, so uh, we are next to Sun Belt. So we have uh, the sun all year round, but we don't have uh, much of the wind energy. So then this is something that I really, I really want to see. I start uh, the business uh, back again in 2010. It's not because of uh, the money, it's because of my passion to bring solar energy into a real uh, uh, energy of uh, uh, mankind. So then uh, my, my task is done now with the solar farms and uh, we are now moving uh, our, uh, our uh, vision to solar loaf uh, the application. So this is one of another exciting area. If we can get every household in the world installed with solar energy and to save energy during the daytime, so how much energy from conventional we can save, how much energy from fossil fuel uh, like uh, natural gas or coal that we can save. So we can say we can do we can help the world by by using more of the renewable energy. This is one another way that we can do. So then Thailand is a good example case and uh, we are now welcome any visitor to visit both our our solar farms and our office because we have the what we call uh, uh, solar monitoring control room in Bangkok. So we control every of our solar farm through SCADA system. So we can see real time of the energy production from each of the solar farms. So it means that we can see how many kilowatt hour life. We can see the rains. We can see the sun. So this is something that we have also statistic statistic last. Uh, six years so we can share with many other countries who want to start the, uh, to produce energy from solar. Dr. Wandi, it's clear you've made a big impact to help Thailand battle climate change. Any advice on how we can rally the next generation to uh, create a better world? Well, I would like to convince uh, the leaders all over the world. The leaders mean uh, the leaders of the country, the leaders of the company, the leaders of the family, the leaders, you know, in uh, community, society, that uh, climate change action is uh, is not one person duty, but is all of us duty. So we need to help uh, to protect the world, our world. So if we don't have the good world from our next generation how our son our you know great grandson can live and uh, so the, the the time is we are getting we don't have much time the time is getting less and less for us so we have to act today and move today and make it happen right now dr wandi thank you for your impressive and inspirational leadership uh, thank you for joining us today